And here comes Greg now. Coming to the bottom of the hill. And we're about 13 kilometers from the finish line. And uh, we've got some nice warm flat coke waiting for Greg. That's his little treat coming up. Uh, and we've got some sunscreen as well. And we've been having a debate about who gets to put it on him. And I think to treat him out drawing the short straw there. Just about to pass that check. Ooh, yeah, take that check. Ooh, about to pass another one. Looking alright. Not limping too much or anything. How you holding yeah. up, Greg? Uh, he's good, just got a tracking jerk. Hey, I'm alright, but the knees are really sore. I'm starting to struggle a bit, but I'm at the ends just there. I'm kind of setting a target of 7 minute k's from here to yep. get myself in it in 12 hours, just to keep, keep yep. ticking me along. Yep. So, um, Is Chris slowing you down at all? <laughs> uh, if I do, it just burn me off. I don't mind it. Exactly sure though, we're not going to say how far he's got to go, only that it's not too far to go. It's Voltaren time, Greg. Voltaren, bro, Voltaren. Greg, 12 hours into it. There is it. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Could be green, it could be someone else. Look at It is. green. through my mind that I should, should have stopped and should have got something to drink and but uh, at this stage I was just pumped and just wanted to get in the groove and uh, 
Yeah. What part of, what part of the body is uh, feeling at the most? Probably along the toes. You've got a lot of blisters there. So what a feeling of the up. And the hamstrings aren't going to be pretty forgiving tomorrow, so uh, it might, might be a rest of the night. A couple of beers will uh, sort those out. Right on.